Hey guys, Disciplined Magic here, and I have to add a little disclaimer to this video to anybody, well, this stupid. Hey, this is gonna be a bit of a negative video as you keep saying in the comments complaining about negative videos. If you didn't get that from the title, you might have some kind of brain damage. If you didn't understand from the title that this might just be a rant slash rage video with a bit of a negative spin to it, you read the title, you clicked on it, you are now watching this video. You thought, hey, this looks like a fun and interesting video. Oh, I'm sure it'll have a real positive message to it. There is nothing positive about this video. I don't know if you noticed, but sometimes things in the magic world suck. Wizards screws up over and over and over and they won't stop printing obnoxious toxic shit cards and I'm going to talk about them. I'm not going to ignore them. When you get to the point where even they issue an article about how badly they fucked up standard in the last year, maybe it's time we have some dialogue about the bad state of standard and these toxic just impossible to play against cards. You know what, this actually is a positive video because at the end of the day, these are about to cycle out. That's what the video is about. So anyway, in no particular order, just kidding, I lied, they're in alphabetical order. It's the top 11 cards that I can't wait to see go when standard cycles out the Kaladesh block. I hate so many cards from the Amon Ket and Kaladesh blocks that I had to split this into two videos. If you're a scared little toddler who needs to grow the fuck up and can't handle negativity, then you might not want to watch this or the next video, just fair warning. So those of you who have weak, pathetic mental fortitude and you can only handle the world being just perfect and you just can't handle hearing about anything wrong with anything ever, go to some other YouTube channel where they do nothing but blast rainbows out their ass, okay? That's more your speed. And you know what? Don't come back because I tell the truth. And when it comes to Magic the Gathering, sometimes the truth is, hey, this is bad. So first in order, we've got Aether Flux Reservoir. Who the hell isn't sick of this toxic shit deck? They just yo-yo a bunch of shit when you're finally like, haha, naturalized. Nope, they've got a counter spell because this is a primarily blue deck. You can't stop this stupid fucking combo. And if you do stop it, great. You're basically playing solitaire. You're just bashing a pinata at that point because they can do nothing to stop you. What, is their army of glint nest cranes going to stop you? No. Their combo does nothing. Their deck does nothing. You're just swinging directly at their face, which at that point you're going to want to do in real life. Fuck this deck and fuck this card. Storm and Affinity are two of the most hated decks in modern this is literally both of them i fucking hate this card next up authority of the consoles oh good all my shit comes in tapped and benefits you wonderful i feel so much better about coming back in the game now this card went from annoying to holy shit levels when a johnny's pride mate came out a johnny's pride mate and this card no they don't need to go together I need to cast shit to stop that stupid fucking card, and I don't need to benefit it more as I'm trying to do that. I don't even run a haste deck, and I still hate this fucking card. Next up, good riddance to Baral, Chief of Assholery. I actually love this card, it's one of my favorite cards from the set, but I hate playing against it because it just takes everybody's stupid shit decks and makes them even cheaper, faster, and more efficient. Oh good, your Glimmer and your fucking Disallow and your nobody plays in City as well, but they should, all got cheaper? Wonderful. Oh good, you countered my spell and you ensured that your next two draws are fixed. Well, fuck you too. This guy's such a toxic pile of shit, he got banned from Brawl. Which is funny because his name basically is Brawl. Good riddance to that pile of shit. Next up we've got Chandra, Torch of Defiance, or as I like to call her, the overpowered bitch that should have been banned three years ago. That's right, she should have been banned when they were first thinking of her in designing the card. Free double card draw to outdraw your opponent two to one in a burn deck? Are you fucking kidding me? Who thought that that was appropriate for a four cost? There would be nothing wrong with this card if it costs five. Absolutely nothing. The plus two, oh good, I get to deal with Itali now. Wonderful, thanks for that. But the card draw, it's two unavoidable damage, which is just stupid. And then, oh look, they pulled a spell that's better. Cool, they're just gonna cast it. I mean, it's, it's, it's a blue planeswalker. Nobody should have that much draw, that's fucking ridiculous. Her negative three is toxic fucking bullshit, and her negative seven might as well just say flip the table because your opponent won the game. I hate all four of her abilities. Do you know how uncommon that is? This card should have been banned a long fucking time ago. They should have banned Bomat Courier and Crop Crasher and her and Mountains. Fuck Red Rush and fuck this card. 
Next up, Gifted Aetherborn. This asshole just walks out into the middle of the road, sits down, and just flips you off while it blocks traffic. I fucking hate this thing. You have to ram three damage into it just to kill it, and it's got Death Touch and it's got Life Link. This guy just ends combat. There's no more combat phase as soon as he's in play, because you have to find a way to remove him first so you can get on with your fucking life. And then when they swing at you with it, oh good, they're gonna widen the fucking life gap by four every goddamn time. Oh, you brought out a 12-12 trample Galta? Wonderful, have fun staring at him, scratching his ass, cause he sure as shit ain't gonna swing against this fucking thing. You know what, if they're gonna print this dickish and overpowered of a fucking card, why not make him flying too, okay? That would have been the trifecta of just bullshititude. Oh really, you had to make him a fucking vampire too so he gets boosted by vampire tribal? Fuck you too, wizards. The only worse mistake than this card was hiring whoever the fuck designed it. Next up, Glimmer of Genius, or as I like to call it, fuck you, you stupid little blue glowing piece of lawn art, you stupid fucking smurf bitch. Scry two and then draw two. Are you kidding? You get to basically look at the top four cards and just handpick whatever you want out of them. Well, I guess almost. Drawing two for four, there's nothing special about it, but scrying two first is utterly ridiculous. Oh, and then you get two energy too? This card is so overpowered without even that that people play it in a zero energy deck. They don't even need the main point of this card. It's so fucking good, it just guarantees you pull that disallow, you pull that torrential gear hulk. I fucking hate this card. It should have been banned a long time ago. Next up, Glint Sleeve Siphoner. Oh good, it's two damage for two mana with Menace, and every other turn you get a free card. Fuck you too. That's what Black needs right now. More lands in hand so that they can get to their fucking Torment of Scarabs quicker, or overload the shit out of their Torment of Hailfire. Or just more removal cards. Yay, awesome. You have to get out two creatures just to stop this, and then anytime you want to swing with them, you're going to get counterswung with this. And she can just sit on her ass and do nothing and just fucking draw cards as long as they have another source of energy. You just drop in an Aether Hub, you don't even have to swing with her, you get an extra card. Wonderful. I cannot wait until this card is gone from standard. Next up, Heart of Kirin. You know what, Kirin? If you were here right now, I'd stab you in the chest with a steak knife, cut out your heart, and fucking burn it. Flying and Vigilance with Crew 3, and it could be crewed by Planeswalker Loyalty. This, of course, goes in Super Friends, the most toxic deck archetype ever. I mean, seriously, Control Draw, Draw Go is a more friendly deck than all Planeswalkers. This piece of shit doesn't even tap, so you can block with it. It can be crewed by basically any two costs in the fucking game because they printed a bunch of three twos. Thanks for that, wizards. This thing is unkillable. I mean, what are you going to do? Gideon's Reproach, seal away, settle the wreckage, that's it. Nothing sorcery speed can touch this thing because it stops being a creature immediately, and that is so fucking annoying. And there isn't a five toughness, four attack power flying creature that anybody plays with any kind of reasonable density in any deck. This thing can't be stopped. It's four guaranteed fucking damage every fucking turn, and you know damn well they're going to block with it too. Every time you go to blow up one of their creatures, oh well, I guess I'll crew it in response. Haha, <laughs> fuck you, have fun swinging this turn. I fucking hate this slippery little piece of shit. Next, the number one biggest mistake in all of Aether Revolt, Metallic Mimic. This card is so fucking overpowered, it's still $11. You cannot print this and then go to Ixalan and have everything be tribal. You can't fucking do that. Fuck you. The worst offender with this card is fucking Merfolk, where if they have a counter on them, they're unblockable, they're flying, they can't be targeted, oh, everything. This is a Lord card, except that the boost doesn't go away when you kill this fucking piece of shit. And what absolute fucking moron forgot to mark this as legendary? I am convinced that it just simply didn't fit on the type line, it's too many letters, so they're like, eh, fuck it. The fact that you can tap this for improvise, I mean, there's, it just goes on and on and on about what's all wrong with this stupid fucking card. I hope this card burns in hell and I never want to see it again. Next up, I lied because I added this one at the last second, it's actually 12, Scrap Heap fucking Scrounger. Oh, you're just going to keep coming back from the graveyard over and over and over while hitting me for three and costing two, and you can put this in any deck of any color? Well, that certainly doesn't scream design mistake to me. Oh, it can't block? Who gives a shit? I mean, I suppose to bring it back, yeah, you do need black, but I mean, the color fixing right now, there's eight sets that are legal. Not exactly difficult. I hate this card. Next up, the number one card that should have been banned in just about every single ban cycle since it's been released. Torrential fucking Gear Hulk. 
Oh, good. You get to go get your glimmer again. You get to go get your disallow again. Cool. Oh, awesome. You're playing blue black and you can resurrect it with both Liliana and the Scarab God. Well, fuck you too. In every deck that this is played against, it's a control spam bullshit draw deck and every single instant is going to be cast twice. I mean, it's just a given. They are all going to be cast twice, or at least they could be. Letting somebody outdraw you while also using removal and counter spells, while also being able to play all of them twice is overpowered as fuck. Oh, and this is a 5-6. The fact that this has flash makes me want to throw up in my mouth. Fuck this card. Whoever designed it and whoever approved it needs to be fired from wizards immediately. And before I go to the last one, let me just give an honorary mention to the fucking set symbols themselves. Good riddance to those motherfuckers. I still don't know what set is which. You made them look identical. It's just a bunch of twisty bullshit. I can't tell the difference. And I've been playing with these cards for over a year. Maybe make them look a little distinct next time, wizards. So the final one, you know damn well what this is. They're in alphabetical order. It's walking fucking ballista. Do I even need to explain it? Do I need to explain why this is bad? Winding Constrictor is one reason. Oh, you know what? Fuck that card too. Oh, Verderous Gearhulk, awesome. I'll just drop four counters on him. Oh, and then double the counters, and then oh, add another counter, and then oh, I actually ramped up to eight. Add two more counters. Ha ha ha. I can remove nine of your fucking creatures with this thing in a game. Oh, and if your life total is seven and this has eight counters, <laughs> you lost. This card is too fucking powerful, and I hate it. You can't have aggressive swinging with growing and late game options with removal of multiple creatures with unblockable damage. You can't have all that and mix it into colorless so any deck can play it. That is fucking ridiculous. This card is so fucking overpowered. Once again, whoever designed it and whoever approved it should be fired from Wizards of the Coast. They are incapable of doing their job at a basic fucking level. The funny thing is they didn't even make this a mythic, which really indicates that they had no idea that this would be so powerful and so popular. Wow, good job, guys. But remember, this is coming from Aaron Forsyth, who almost definitely approved this card personally, who said he didn't think Collected Company would be any good. It was just a gimmick for, for like, sealed and draft. It, he didn't think it was playable, like, realistically in, in any competitive format. Oh, by the way, fuck you. Free cards are actually really good, it turns out, you dumbass. Maybe you should try playing Magic once in a while and learn how the game works. So that's it for this block. Tune in for the next episode where I tear Amon Cat a new ass. See you next video.